In this video, we're going to learn how to find all of the factors of a number. Find all the factors of the given numbers by finding factor pairs. Write your final answer as a list of factors separated by commas. Okay. So a factor of a number is a number that when we divide the number by that number, the remainder is zero. Okay. So let's just look at a small one. So if we had six, we know that, well, one times six equals six with the remainder of zero. We could write six as two times three equals six, and there's a remainder of zero. So we would say that one, two, three, and six are factors. Okay. Now notice four is not a factor of six. Okay. Four, well, times some number equals six. Well, notice if we thought of this in terms of division, if we divide 6 by 4, we have, it goes in one time, and then we'd have 2 left over. So if there's 6 stars, we would have one group of 4, and there's 2 left over. So we don't call for a factor of 6 because there's a remainder. So what we're going to do to find all the factors is we're going to, we want to have a systematic process, so we are going to make a list and see which numbers are factors of 18 and which are not. So the first one you always want to st start with is 1 times the number, 1 times 18. Okay, so 1 and the number itself is always, are always factors of the number. Okay, so now we're going to think of continuing on from the 1 and incrementing by 1 and checking to see if they're factors. Well, is 2 a factor of 18? So I'm going to put 2 times, and you probably know 2 times 9 is 18, but let's just use the calculator as an aid for when the numbers get larger. So to find 2 times what gives me 18, even though we're using factors and fact factors are multiplication, we have to use the reverse idea, which is division. So if I divide 18 by 2, I get 9. And notice there's no decimal after that. That means there's no remainder. So 2 times 9 is a factor pair because these two numbers multiply to equal 18 and now we know both 2 and 9 are factors. Let's try 3. So is 18 divisible by 3? And we get 6 which is a whole number so 3 times 6 equals 18 and these are both factors. Now let's try 4. So if I divide 18 by 4, let's see what happens. Okay. Notice I do not get a whole number. There's something after the decimal point. Okay. This would actually be a remainder of 2 Okay, if we wanted to find the remainders, but we don't have to. All we need to see in this case is that it's not a whole number. So we're just going to cross this out. Not a factor. Okay. Now let's try 5. And the question that often comes up is when can we stop? So you think we could keep going all the way to 18 and 1, okay? Um, but that would be a little redundant because we already got 1 and 18 at the beginning. So let's see what happens when we try 5. Well, when we had 4, actually let's write this here, it was 4 times 4.5, okay? Not factors. And if we try 5, we have 5 times 3.6. also not a factor because there would be a remainder. Now notice as we continue on, um, when these numbers get larger, these numbers are getting smaller. Okay. Now we already checked if I tried 6 next, we actually already know that's a factor because we got it when we tested 3. So that will always happen. So basically once you get to the point where your number on the left would be larger than the number on the right, which you could see by doing the division. So here, 4 is less than 4.5. We could try 5. 5 is greater than 3.6. That's when you know you're done. You could go all the way to 18 if you want to, but I know that 6 is going to work, 9 is going to work, 18 is going to work. Those are the only three that are going to be factors, 
Okay, so I could try the next 13 numbers and I just get answers I already have. Okay, now when you're done, notice that you have to include all of these numbers. We're going to put them in a list. So we're going to do 1, comma, and I go down the left hand side, 2, comma, 3, comma, and then back up the right hand side, 6, 9, 18. You want to put them in order, in increasing order, that way you can keep track of them. Okay. Uh, let's look at the next one. Now we have 90. Okay, so we're going to start with 1 times 90. Okay, now we're going to check 2. Well, does 2 work? And again, you can probably, you might be able to do these in your head. I can, but we're just going to use the calculator to verify. 2 times 45. Does 3 work? Well, if I divide 90 by 3, I get 30. Exactly, so that's going to work. Okay, now I'm going to try 4. And notice I'm checking all of these because, okay, we get 22.5, so I'm going to write that, but I'm going to put my red X through it because that is not a factor. I don't want to include uh, 4. Uh, so notice I'm going one by one, okay, because you want to use this systematic method. You may not have known off the top of your head that 45 is a factor of 90, so that's why you want to make sure you check all of them. Don't try to just think of all the ones you can think of from the multiplication tables because you may miss some. Now, is 5 going to work? Well, I see it ends in a 0, so it is going to be divisible by 5, and we get 5 times 18. So 5 is a factor, 8 is a factor, let's try 6. Notice this number is still a lot smaller than this one, so we have to keep going. 90 divided by 6 is 15, so those are factors. I'm going to move on up here, let's try 7. Okay, and that has a big long decimal, so it's not a factor. And I'm just going to put 12 point dot dot dot. Okay, I don't want to write that whole decimal, but I just want to know, note that there was a decimal. And cross it out so I don't include it. Let's try 8. So I get 8, 11.25, so that is not working. Now I'm going to cross this out. Notice these numbers are getting bigger, these numbers are getting smaller, but I have to keep going because 11 is bigger than 8. So let's try 9. Well, actually, I know this is going to work. This is 9 times 10. So 90 divided by 9 is 10. Okay. And I actually know I can stop here. Even though 10 is bigger than 9, the next number I would check is 10. And, well, that would give me 9. So, and I already have that included, so I can stop here. Okay. Again, with 90, you definitely wouldn't want to go all the way up to 90 and check all of them. So now let's put our list. I'm going to start with the left-hand column. 1, 2, 3, not 4, 5, 6. The next one is 9. Now I'm going to go around the other way. That way I can get them in order. 10. 15, 18, 30, 45, and 90. So notice that's a lot of factors, so you probably wouldn't think of them all if you tried to do this without making this list. Let's look at the last one. 154. Well, we have 1 times 154. Now I know it's divisible by 2 because it's even. Let's do this one in our head. So 2 goes into 15 7 times, and we get 14, and we have 77. Okay. Let's check 3. Okay. 3 doesn't work, so I'm going to cross that out. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks along the way. I know 4 isn't going to work because 2 worked, but this number isn't even. Okay. But we'll still check it doesn't work. There's a remainder. Now let's try 5. 
It doesn't end in 0 and 5, so I know this isn't going to work, but we'll just do this on the calculator. Nope. Notice we're up to 30, so we still have a ways to go. Let's try 6. Okay. 6 does not work. Let's try 7. I know this seem, can seem a little bit tedious, but this is where computers come in handy. But it's good for you to practice this skill and see how it works. And look, 7 times 22. I actually didn't know that off the top of my head. Okay, so we found a factor pair there. Okay, We could try 8. I know 8's not going to work because 4 didn't, but let's try it anyway. Only takes a second. Notice we're up to 19. We still have to keep going. 9. Nope. Okay, I know 10's not going to work because it doesn't end in a 0. But we'll try it and we'll see what that other number is. So 10, 15.4, we're getting close. I'm going to write that 15.4. So just so I could keep track of when these numbers are getting closer. Let's try 11. Actually, I see 11 is going to work because 22 worked. So let's see what happens there. We get 11 and 14. Notice we're almost done. If I check 12, I get a decimal. And notice it says 12.833. I'm going to cross that out, and I actually know I can stop here because the next number would be 13, and the other number would be smaller. Let's just verify that. So now this goes all the way down to 11, so I could have stopped here. Okay. So now I have all the factors, Okay, and notice there's some we might have missed if we didn't go through this process. So we have 1, 2, 7, 11. I'm going to wrap back around 14, 22, 77, and 154. And that is our list of factors.